Hello, my review today is on the movie Avatar, which opened on December 18th, and all I got to say is, wow, it was, it was really an amazing film, and uh, I saw it in 3D, and you know, but see here in my hometown, it was on two different formats, there was the uh, 3D with uh, IMAX, and then there was the regular one, um, with the regular screen with 3D, the IMAX version was sold out for the weekend, so... I uh, saw it with saw the 3D on regular screen, and, and you know the 3D made up for it. You know because 3D was, it was pretty darn good, and they give you these glasses right here. Um, so I saw it on that in, in that format, um, and uh, but I plan to go back to see this movie again because I liked it. Next time I'm going to see it in IMAX. Um, now I, I I don't like to give away a lot of spoilers and stuff like that. You know sometimes when you do a movie review, you, sometimes you gotta kind of give away a little, you know, um, to explain what's going on and stuff, so, but I'll try not to, to give too much away, um, but anyways, you know, to move on to the movie now, um, in the beginning of the movie, it takes place out in space, you see the ship on its way to uh, Pandora, um, and then on, and then on Pandora, there is a mining operation going on, um, there's also a military presence there, too, to protect the mining operation, and, and, and to give it security um, from the Navi, the inhabitants or the natives of the planet. And um, they're, they're, the mining operation, they're there, they're mining for uh, precious materials and stuff like that. Um, and I got to say that Pandora is an amazing place. It, it has so many different um, creatures, so many different. Uh, you know, it's just so many different exotic creatures on this planet, and and uh, so much different kinds of plant lives and it, plant life and everything. It's just amazing this world is, and uh, the, even the scenes were very breathtaking. Um, <clears throat> you know, you know the scenery and stuff like that. It was it was all CGI, of course, but it was it was incredible uh, the way they they did that. And what's so neat about the rainforest parts is it made you feel like you were there. If you see this movie in 3D, I, know, I don't know what format you saw it in, but if you see it in 3D, you, you get the experience like you're there in the rainforest, and uh, I, th I thought that was absolutely incredible. And, um, you know, they gave you this, the glasses and stuff like that for it. Um, I also thought that uh, there were some, a lot of political messages in this movie. One of the political messages that I've found in this movie was protecting the rainforest. And when you see the movie, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, you know, in, in our world today, there's the concern about the rainforest and all that getting torn down. And, and But in this movie, it was one of the political messages that really stood out to me. <clears throat> one of the characters, or the main character, a guy named Jake, who goes uh, to, uh, um, we'll see, Origin they don't show it in the film, but originally his brother was killed, and he takes his brother's place on this mission. He's selected to take his place, and what they do is he goes there, and they have these avatar creatures, or or not well, Navi like looking creatures. They're avatars, but they're inside these water tanks, and what he can do is he can um, Jake can go inside a chamber, and his mind is hooked up to it. He closes his eyes and he can control his avatar through, through you know, control it walking around, doing whatever. <clears throat> so anyways, um, they, they, there's an expedition that into, into the rainforest and they have uh, Jake's avatar there. And what ends up happening is uh, um, they get lost. They get separated. Jake gets lost from his party. And uh, and what happens is Jake ends up meeting this beautiful Navi um, uh, alien, you know, and her her name is Naturi, I believe that's what it was called, Naturi, and she's very, uh, you know, she, he really falls in love with her. He starts to experience, you know, the uh, the um, the tribe. He becomes one of them. He starts to sympathize with them and understand them, and then starts to realize what the what the mining operation is doing. 
in what the military is doing. And, you know, you'll see the movie. I don't want to give too much away. I probably already have. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's a very good movie. And, and uh, the guy who runs the military there is a guy named Colonel uh, Courage. I think it's pronounced right. Uh, Colonel, Cor Cor Colonel Courage. And um, he's, he's like a dictator or whatever, you know, I mean, he's, he runs the military, he's a, he's a colonel, of course, but he's, he's a crazed-out guy who, who's nothing but gung-ho and wants to kill everything that's in his way. Um, and, and, and talking about James Cameron, um, the director of the film, i got to say that this is probably his first biggest film since Titanic, doing Titanic. He's done... You know, he's he's helped out with TV shows, you know, and the Terminator stuff and all that. But um, I, th th I believe this is his first movie since Titanic that he's directed, and it's going to make a lot of money. It's doing very well, uh, you know, as far as as far as what I see. And um, I just want to tell everybody out there, uh, I give this movie an A+, because it was great. Thumbs up, and uh, everybody take care until my next review, and I'll 